Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Just a quick update because we are heading into my target area again, which is what was expected and which is great because it just means we are moving ahead here. Um, overall, you know, th this current move from this wave three to the wave four is fairly boring. You know, um, it is, yeah, as I said before, a wave four can be long winded, can be up and down, can be difficult. And, uh, but, uh, Ethereum is doing what it's supposed to be doing. We already talked about here this peak here and that was on the uh, 26th of January where it already came into the target area. And with target area, I just mean the area that the price needs to see before it can um, carry on with a sell off, right? Because what it essentially does here is a wave four in my view. And in a wave four, you need to get at least to the 0.214 FIP level, which is at 2,670 US dollars. That's the minimum. But I've been telling you that I think we are gonna head higher. Um, should see certainly the $3,060 level. That's the 0.382 FIP level, and that is in a way for the ideal target level, yeah? But even the $3,300 level would be acceptable, yeah? But if you head higher than that, then it will get um, difficult for my scenario here, yeah? And at the same point, we would even, um, even if we break above that ideal level at $3,060, we would even break this descending uh, channel. You know, you can see that here, or you can even call it the descending wedge, but then we would break that to the upside and it would get less likely that we're actually getting, getting this final sell-off, all right? But until then, I have to assume this is gonna happen, this final sell-off. And at the moment, I wouldn't um, FOMO in here because we are, even if we're on our way up to maybe another $3,000 level, that would actually be what is expected, right? That 3,060. And from there then, we should see a reaction. The bears would need to hold that level so that we can continue our final sell-off, right? At the moment, you can see the price is pretty much here in this range between 2,670, where we currently are, and 2,170. So that is in this $600 range or $500 range, um, Anything the price does doesn't really matter, but, um, well, it doesn't really matter. It, it sort of is uh, nothing that would confirm a breakout up or down, right? It's all within within this range, okay? Um, basically a range between two Fibonacci levels. But what is so important is that we are continuing to move up here, making a series of higher lows, you can see that. And that actually indicates that we are really moving higher here. We're now at a tipping point, exactly this FIB level again. And you can see again, how these Fibonacci levels are so relevant. Um, the price really does adhere to it. It doesn't, it struggles to push higher. Seems to me that we're currently doing it. Um, and that obviously gets confirmed with this ascending trend line, like an uh, ascending triangle, which would actually probably more than not, more often than not break to the upside. On the other hand, bear in mind, we are in a downtrend. So these patterns, even if they are bullish patterns in a downtrend, it's always to be seen with a pinch of salt, but that would just purely based on the wave count and the Fibonacci levels, I would expect here at least the $3,600 level to be seen, or ideally, right? At least I did expect here this one, which we talked about, 2,670, but ideally we wanna get to 3,060, and that would work well, because that would be here pretty much this um, resistance level of that channel. I think Ethereum will struggle to get through it. And if I take a look here on the four hour chart, if we get there, it could really be that we're getting overbought again. And that could then be that push that we need to the downside, all right? And uh, then the next key support will be here. Um, so I take these out. Of course here, 2,170, the previous low of the wave three will be key support. But if you lose that then, then I think we're gonna head here, um, could head all the way down to 2060. That is of this um, higher wave uh, two, yeah? So we're obviously going up here. That was an impulse to the upside until November. And then we are heading down. And from this larger wave, yeah, these Fibonacci retracement levels define the target area for the final sell-off. To be fair, we already did get into it in the wave three. Um, so we're just moving out of it again, but based on the wave count of this impulse down, I don't think we've seen the low yet. And also given how the price is moving here, which is looking fairly corrective, I don't think the low is already in. I think we're gonna see another final 
shake out and that could go as low as $1,700 and if it goes lower than that then we have to um, get the jackets out because then it's getting really cold then we can see a three digit Ethereum but I don't necessarily think it's gonna happen the bulls need to defend this line I think they have good chances to do it um, also looking at the higher time frame indicators that are low already um, well the monthly still, still scares me a bit but um, there still hasn't been a bearish cross we're going to take a look at that in a minute but certainly I think the $2,060 level is very very realistic now if we look at those higher time frame indicators we can see that on the weekly MACD down here you can see the red which is basically just showing the divergence between these two lines here the MACD line and the indicator line if that widens then you get here especially if the blue line here is below the orange one then you get the red um, histogram going deeper down and this indicates selling pressure going up um, and if they get closer again you see the selling pressure declining now that hasn't happened yet we need to see that like <coughs> like it did here in July and when it then uh, crosses again then you get your bullish cross here and you chose green on the histogram it's nothing else than a momentum indicator in a certain way and uh, I really like it and um, it just needs to show us here some declining selling pressure at the moment we can still see that the selling pressure is increasing on the RSI as well there is more scope to fall further with that I mean we are still quite far away from the 30 line not too far so yeah the low could be in soon but there is still scope to fall further now if we take a look a final look maybe here on the four day chart which is meaningful as well then we can see that we were much closer to the oversold range but not yet not quite there yet so there could be also a little bit more scope to fall further especially after the latest um, yeah basically small recovery and on the MACD here as well slight recovery but nothing substantial yet I would want to see at least two or three um, declining um, bars here on that histogram before I get more optimistic and bear in mind we are still in this descending channel so this is nothing uh, great you know as, as long as we are in this channel and below this descending trend line I wouldn't be con confident that we've seen um, the beginning of an impulse to the upside yet and also um, what is important to say overall this could actually be a bullish pattern this could actually be a, a very large descending wedge it doesn't it doesn't go together very strongly but it could be a descending wedge which again is actually the bullish pattern and that would work out very well because this is basically we're heading here towards the end of a correction and if that pattern breaks out to the upside then we could see nice upside potential and overall I said in the next impulse I would expect third certainly here the $6,800 but in a more optimistic scenario we could even see the $10,000 us dollars for ethereum which would be fantastic all right hopefully you liked the update about ethereum if you did please smash the like button and subscribe and uh, yeah if you really like the content maybe you want to consider to join as a channel member and uh, yeah you can find links for that in the video description you can then join discord telegram and a weekly live stream and also see my own buy and sell orders on discord and all sorts of other content depending on the level of membership you sign up for but you can see what each membership includes if you follow the link in the video description thanks a lot for watching bye bye